I want to show you this wonderful transparent relief paste. Now this is a magic bullet of a paste because it goes on white, it dries clear, but it has lots of different uses that you're going to find absolutely invaluable in your crafting. When this arrives, it will have a seal on it. So do make sure that when you take the seal off, that you just peel it back a little bit. Because this is a water-based product, you want to keep the seal attached because you don't want the product drying out. So peel it back before you use it. Now, you can use this through a stencil. You could also use it, if I just bring this bottle in to show you, you can use it as a glue for attaching things like artsy stones and your magic cuts because it dries clear, it dries transparent. You might want to tint it and then add it. You can add colour to your transparent relief paste and you can also use it as a sealer. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take a canvas and I'm going to take a stencil and I've previously I prepared my stencil with my script. So I had a script stencil and I've spread my transparent relief paste through it. But I'm going to show you on this beautiful flourish stencil. So I just want to place that on the edge. I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm just going to take some on the back. Now I want a reasonably thick layer and I'm just going to very gently with the back of the palette knife I'm just going to spread this it's got the most beautiful very soft milky consistency and it's great because before it dries it has a, a milky appearance so you can actually see where you're putting this onto your mixed media work the other use for this transparent paste is if you're using mixed media ink sprays and you spray one colour and then you spray another colour, sometimes the colours can muddy together. If you spray a colour, if you let it dry or dry it off with a hairdryer or a heat gun, then you put paint a layer of your transparent paste in between, put that on top of your ink spray, let it dry, then add another colour you are going to get beautiful translucent layers of ink. So we've spread this over our canvas. I'm going to lift away the stencil and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to pop that first of all just into some water because you mustn't let the paste dry on the stencil. And this is how it looks. <laughs> and of course, it's transparent paste. So it's going to be quite, ah, if I tilt that, there we go. So you can actually see this is white on white. So it's going to be difficult for you to see. But you can see just how beautifully there we are. Just as that light hits it, you can see exactly where I've put this. OK, so you can dry this off with a hairdryer or a heat gun. And obviously, this is one that I've dried. I'm going to pop that to one side. And this is one that I've dried. So this, of course, is going to be like, oh, yeah, we can just see that there, absolutely, as the light hits it. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to add some colour over the translucent paste because we want this to show through. So I'm going to pop this into my spritz box. I'm going to apologise to you for the state of my spritz box. <laughs> as you can see, it's very well used. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fashion sprays. You could use mixed media ink sprays, you could use your fashion sprays. And I'm just going to add some hints of colour here. And I'm not too worried about where this goes. I'm just going to pop that all over. And then that was my pink. I'm going to use some of my blue. And this is exactly the look I want. I want to mix these colours together. Now, I just want this just to run a little bit. I want the colours to blend. That's what I want. 
uh, because I know that my stencil with my translucent paste is quite safe underneath. Now, as this dries, I'm going to show you what happens. So as your, your sprays, your fashion sprays or your mixed media ink sprays dry, let's pop that to one side and you can see the finished effect on here. So this is what happens when it's dry and then when we add some detail over the top, this is what we get. So look how it pops through. So your transparent paste actually pops through the ink sprays. And I've highlighted this with just a little bit of pearl starlight wax. Isn't that dramatic? Really makes your stencil pop. I love that. It's a fabulous look.